So being familiar with how to create a good tripod out here in the wild really is a valuable tool to throw into your survival toolbox. And although it may seem like all we're doing is tying three sticks together, you know, there is a little bit more to that. There's kind of a best practice of how to do this. So a tripod like this really can be the cornerstone of a lot of different projects that you can work on, starting with shelter. Obviously, this is a quick and easy way to get kind of the foundation of a shelter here. You could easily start stacking sticks up uh, and branches along the sides to create a shelter. But you can also use this, two of these, with a cross-sectional beam to create a nice lean-to. Uh, there's just a lot that you can do with this. This is also where you would start if you wanted to create, let's say, a table, a chair, a bed. You know, all those things, they start with something as sturdy as a tripod. All right, so let's jump into this. Let me show you the best practice out there for how to create a tripod like this. So when you start putting a tripod together, obviously you want three sticks that are all about the same height and all about the same diameter in thickness as well. Another thing to consider is where are you going to put the lashings? You know, let's say you're trying to create a TP type shelter. Yeah, you probably want the lashings up high. But let's say you're trying to create something like a table or a chair. So let's say a chair, for example. You probably want the lashing a lot lower because what you're ultimately going to do is then lash other branches between these three and then kind of lay branches on top of that to create a, a structure like that. So you obviously want a lot more sticking up. Um, another project that's really common is kind of like a bushcraft table where you'd get two structures like this. You get a log, you split the log in half, and you stick that between the two structures. So just kind of keep that in mind beforehand how much excess uh, you want sticking up above the lashes, and that's gonna really determine where you put the lashings. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is tie a clove hitch onto this last branch here. All right, that is gonna get us started. Now I'm going to be doing an over-under pattern, okay? So under here, over the outside one. And then over the middle one, under this outside one. We wanna do this five times total. So over, under, over, under, all right, so now we've got our five wraps, right? One, two, three, four, five, going over, under all three of these branches. Now what we're gonna do is something called wrapping, okay? Uh, and essentially what that's gonna be is now wrapping around our wraps, both of them pulling them really tight. Now that's gonna be kinda tricky with what we got here, so I'm going to actually cut this just to make it a little bit easier for us to work with a 550 cord. So let's go over here. Now, I'm gonna feed this through. Now this is what's really going to cinch these uh, lashes together and really tighten this up. All right, so let's wrap it around here one full time like this. Now I really recommend that you get yourself a toggle, okay? Something like this to really help you tighten it. All right, you wrap it around there a few times and now you can really get some leverage on that. And so we're gonna do two times, right? Wrap it around twice for these fraps. Get your toggle here, really cinch that down. So I'm gonna come up and then over here, and we're gonna repeat it on this side. Get your toggle. <clears throat> All right, so that's two times there. <clears throat> so now that we've got our two fraps, I wanna finish this up with another clove hitch on this side. It's a little tricky uh, getting it in, in here, but what I can do is that, here like this. All right, so now we got this tail here. I like just to tie an overhand knot here, just to help it from slipping out. 
and then I cut off the excess. So there you go, now you've got all three of them lashed together. All right, survivalists, this should give you a pretty good idea, idea of just how strong these tripods are. You know, I'm 210 pounds, these things are easily holding my weight. Even though these branches really are not that thick at all, maybe uh, maybe an inch and a quarter, inch and a half right there. Uh, and this could easily be the start of a really nice lean-to, a really nice shelter system. And it all starts with these these tripods, and they're just it's just how that how they're designed. You know, this is a much better design than a bipod, right? If you only had two sticks that you lashed together, um, it, it's just it, it may work, but it may not be as strong as if you had three of them lashed together like this. Well, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you learned something today. You know, the tripod, it really is kind of the fundamental of a lot of other projects that you can build off of it. Uh, and I, you just got to get creative with it. You can do a lot of stuff with tripods. I'm hoping to come out here and kind of show you some of those other projects, right? Show you how to do a bushcraft table, a chair. Uh, you can do a really nice raised bed using tripods. Uh, some really nice shelter systems. Just all start with this tripod. So hopefully we'll see that in the upcoming months. Uh, and I hope you guys learned something today. If you did, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you guys just enjoyed this video, you're happy to see me back making videos, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps, uh, helps my channel grow. Until next time, guys, remember, knowledge weighs nothing. So long. Turn on the microphone, did you? Nope. Ah, oh, fuck, I did.